Do car dealers ever have real sales? Yes and no. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Here today with the amazing Elizabeth to talk about car dealer sales. You remember all those Saturday mornings putting out the yellow balloons and the big sale signs propped up in the hoods and all oh, yeah. that kind of stuff the dealers wanted done? Certainly. Yeah, flying the banners out on the road, even having radio stations show up <laughs> on the showroom floor with a DJ telling people what a great time they're having at the dealership. Was any of that true? Well, yeah, there were some sales, but there were deals available all the time. And some of manufacturers like that came out like clockwork month after month and year after year. But with regard to that day being any more special than any other day, no. No. It was just business as usual with some fluff like yellow balloons just to help influence people who are driving by minding their own business to get them to stop. A dealership sale is more like marketing. Now, it's not to say that that's bad. Everybody should market. It's just that you shouldn't be stopping in just because you see balloons or heard it on the radio or saw it in some print or got or a like flyer a in ad. your mailbox. Yeah. Yes, or the TV ads, correct. Well, let's dig into the meaning of a sale at a dealership. If the word sale means you're going to get a better deal, a lower price, well, that's not the meaning of the word sale at a dealership. You can get the price you're looking for anytime just by doing your homework. On the flip side of that, if being ripped off means you're paying way more than you should, well, you can easily get ripped off right in the middle of the biggest sale <laughs> of the year at a dealership. So true. So the bottom line is, no matter if it looks like there's a sale or not, the dealership isn't going to ditch their programming, and that's just to maximize their profits in every deal that goes out the door. A deal that looks to be massively marked down may actually be a car that nobody else wanted. Market value, remember? Yep, the big markdown just reflects that market value. So a car that is worth less than the dealer thought at first. That means it's also worth less to you, so don't forget that. Then try to trade a vehicle in in such a deal in the massively marked down car and you find them giving you ridiculously low offer on your vehicle because they're trying to recoup their money. Happens almost every time. Yep. I can tell you from conversations with people on the inside of dealerships, a sale was only successful if it was one of the top profit producing days of the month. That's how they measured the success of the sale. Yep. This is not to say profits are an evil word, not at all. The dealer deserves to make a profit just like any other type of business. What I am saying is that you, the car buyer, shouldn't be expecting to save a ton of money just because you see some balloons or a sale sign out front. So the question is, should you even stop during the visible evidence of a great big sale at the car dealership? Great question. Actually, the answer is yes. Yeah! Sure. You're less likely to be dogpiled by several car salesmen because the lot can be actually very busy. So, and that's a huge advantage. Yes, exactly. You can shop at ease. So if you see a lot of people walking around the lot, that's a great time for you to do the same thing. They have too many people making demands on their time to spend time riding you. While that means a sale is a good time to shop, it's not necessarily a good time to buy. When the sales staff have a lot of commotion going on and several customers to take care of, sitting down to negotiate the brass tax in your deal isn't something they really want to do. Managers are not motivated to cut deals either during this time because they can just point outside and say, look, many people are here today. The car you're looking at will likely be sold before the day is out, so you better get something going on this now. The deal we offered you, that's the best deal you're going to get. Youch. So that was true, but just for today. So actually go back on a Monday or a Tuesday, and that's the days they won't have a scheduled sale. Right. And the dealership traffic is often quite low, and suddenly they want to deal with you a lot more than they did on that Saturday. Pro tip right there. Most of what you hear on a big sales day at a dealership are discussions around monthly payments and financing plans. Prices really haven't gone down at all. In fact, I've actually seen those prices get jacked up during a sale. And why do they do that? Well, they're creating a bit more pad for negotiations that you customers will expect because there's a sale going on. The bottom line is this. While a sale may seem like a great time to hit the dealership lot, it's not a great time for an actual car sale. A sale that you were hoping to get, anyway. So forget about all those easy payment plans and financing options. Forget about all the hype. Use your head. And logic may seem boring, but thinking and doing homework may not seem exciting. But if you do those things, you do your homework, that's how you get the real deal. And that doesn't matter what day of the week it is. Correct. Your objective is to get the lowest price you can on the car you're buying and the best value for the car you're attempting to get rid of, either by trading or selling it yourself. And those goals are in complete opposition to what the goals of the dealership are. Not to say that the dealership shouldn't have the goal of trying to get as much money as they can and trying to devalue your trade as much as they can. That's exactly what they do. That's their business model. But your goals are the opposite. Get your car price as low as you can. Get your trade in as high as you can. They're just simply goals in opposition. So do the homework that Liz is suggesting. Apply the logic she was talking about, not emotions, and then go home afterwards to, to what? To think, think about, about it. it. Yes. 
Don't try to slay the dragon of buying a car and selling yours in one day. Collect the facts and then take a day or two to think about it because we always do our deals over the course of a few days. Not only are we doing our due diligence, just as we tell you to do, but you'd be amazed at some of the offers we get after we've left the lot, after we drove the cars we wanted to. They call us at home with offers to sweeten the deal if we came back. Hasn't that happened to you? Exactly. So follow this advice and you'll be buying a car on sale for what is a true sale price every time you need another car or used vehicle. If you appreciated this video on dealership sales and we gave something for you to think about, well, consider giving us that great big thumbs up. Smash that like button and share this video out with all your social media platforms. Your friends and family deserve to get as lucky as you did today. That's right. And I want to point something else out here. You notice that Kevin often wears his, is that the best you can do shirt? Right here. We're looking for a few courageous car buyers out there who want to get one of these sweatshirts or shirts for themselves and go car shopping with it on. If you do that and send us a video of you in the, your homework guy shirt on the car lot, we'll publish your video story and send you $100. You get your money back double and right. all of us get to have a little fun at the same time, right? If you love what we do and want to say thanks with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be real easy to find in the description box down below or on our website. But no big deal if you can't do a tip. Help us get the word out. Right. Our subscribers are the luckiest car buyers in the planet. And you want that to be you, right? Right. So help us bring fairness and honesty to the car business. And that's exactly what we're all after. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with the amazing Elizabeth. And we're going to go out and check out some car sales because we saw some <laughs> balloons floating out there, right? No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're out.